The cytoskeleton is a uniquely eukaryotic phenomenon. The three main components of the cytoskeleton provide shape to cells and participate in motility. And here they are. Microtubules are shown at the top. These are made up mostly of polymerized alpha and beta tubulin polypeptides. And they're involved in cell shape as well as in cell motility. Microtubules are thought to be hollow tubes. At 24 nanometers in diameter, they're the largest cytoskeletal element. Microfilaments are made up largely of polymerized actin polypeptides. At 7 nanometers in diameter, these thin filaments are the smallest component of the cytoskeleton. And thirdly, intermediate filaments at about 10 nanometers in diameter are aptly named because they're in the middle in, in their diameter between microtubules and microfilaments. They're formed as dimers of extended polypeptides. That simply means that these polypeptides don't have much three-dimensional or tertiary structure. A common example is keratin, the major protein of hair and fingernails found outside cells. Keratin inside cells forms a part of the cytoskeleton. Here are two images that reveal that cells do indeed have a fibrous cytoskeletal matrix. And they're not just a bag of sappy cytoplasm. All the particles and organelles are essentially hung on the scaffolding or framework. This slide summarizes the involvement of cytoskeletal components in either shape or motility in cells. You may recall the role of microtubules in mitosis as the main part of centrioles and as key players in ciliary and flagellar motion. They're also found in the microvilli of cells lining our small intestines. Why do you think they're found there? Think about that. Microfilaments are involved in muscle contraction as the thin filaments that slide against the thick filaments called myosin filaments. They also account for amoeboid movement and cytokinesis, or the splitting of one cell into two at the end of mitosis. Not shown here is that microfilaments also play a role in cell shape. Intermediate filaments are mainly involved in maintaining cell shape. They have no direct involvement in cell motility, but they can have an indirect role in cell movement, particularly in muscle contraction.